I'm about to melt all of your hearts out there. <laughs> Welcome back. It is time for our Pets as Pals segment with Woodford Humane Society. And as always, we've got Beth Olson here along with Donatello, who oh. is still looking for his forever home. Yes, and now, but the only difference is he's very famous now. He is. <laughs> yeah, um, he is the longest ever resident yeah. at the Wood for Humanity. Yes. Society. He is yeah. getting his 15 minutes of fame. Let's kind of start off with that. The, the outreach is. has been amazing. Here. It has. So for anyone who somehow has missed this over the last, <laughs> you know, several days, um, Donatello just passed his four year anniversary with us on Saturday. Um, and he is the longest resident that we've ever had at this point. Um, oh, and, <laughs> you know, as you all know very well, because he's been here a handful of times, um, we've, you know, we've been taking him out and trying to show yeah. him off for years here. And it just really picked up steam this time. Mm -hmm. um, he's been all over local news. He's been on uh, USA Today and wow. Southern Living and People at this point. So, yeah, uh, so with all that exposure, there's, I'm sure, heightened interest all of a sudden. Yes. Potential so, adopters. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. for sure. We're getting calls from all over the country. So he has had a lot of interest in the last five or six days. Okay, let's get into the kind of home, you know, which would be a nice fit for him. Um, so as you can see, he is not like a totally hyper going all the time sort of a dog. Um, we tell people that he, oh, now he's going to just turn his back on the camera. It's fine. Um, we tell people that he is about 20% just crazy manic energy zooming and 80% couch potato. So like he's not a dog that needs, yeah. you know, to run three miles a day with you after work. He's one that like as long as he's getting some playtime and a walk, he's perfectly happy to just chill with you on the couch and all the rest of the time. Um, he loves kids. We do recommend family with older kids, not really young ones, just because he is sort of a perfect wrecking ball when he is running around. Yeah, sure. Um, but uh, he does really enjoy kids, so, you know, a family that would keep him busy would make him very happy. Oh, my goodness. Uh, he's just so sweet. I also want to point out, too, he is crate trained, potty trained. I mean, this is one of the yes. hardest things to get your pet to do, um, you know, when adopting. And he's already got that done. He's like, I'm ready to go. Yes, he's had four years of practice yeah. at this point. Um, he is, you know, perfectly well-mannered when he's in his crate or in his room inside. Um, you know, we always tell everybody, you know, when you're introducing to a new schedule and a new location, like yeah. you expect a little bit of an adjustment period. But like, honestly, he just never has an accident. <laughs> like, yeah, he's really absolutely. well trained at this point. I want to have you kind of clear up some misconceptions too. For folks who are kind of out there, we know obviously there are internet trolls, um, but I want you to kind of put to bed some of those myths out there that he is like not happy, he's in a terrible place. That is not the case. Clearly these people have just never been to Woodford Humane Society. Yeah, um, you know, one of the things that really surprised us was the people saying that basically keeping a dog in a shelter for four years is tantamount to abuse. Um, that is just not the case. Um, all I can say to those people is that if they had ever been to Woodford Humane Society right. or, you know, walked a mile in our shoes, they would know that that's just not true. He is so happy. He has a legion of adoring staff members and volunteers who make sure he gets great care. He gets lots of exercise. He gets playtime. He gets toys. He gets cuddles. You know, half the time you can find him hanging out up in the office with us just... <laughs> Like, yeah, loose, see, walking around seems, doing his thing. Seems pretty content right now. You can tell. Yeah. I mean, you can tell yeah. in a dog's face that and that's the case. And he does have case, the right you know? personality, too. You know, he's yeah. a very confident dog, so, like, he's not phased by all the noise and smells and everything. So it's never been a situation where he wasn't happy. Yeah. Um, you know, we just know that he would be happier, even happier, if he was getting that attention 24-7. <laughs> Absolutely. And he, he just, deserves yeah, it. Yeah, he Look knows exactly. He's like, man, what a day already. <laughs> like, oh, like, I'm big talking day. Big day. All completely. Right. Well, I got I got to ask you since uh, I think this is the first time we had it, since the uh, the Derby oh, yes. event, the Derby yes. Day event. I was curious how that little went. puppies. Uh, yeah. Doggy Hauser mm -hmm. was our our top. Doggy yeah. so She was the last one that came in and visited with yeah. us. Yeah. It was total chaos. Um, of as, course. As doggies uh, visit ah. predicted. Um, but it was really fun. We had a great crowd, and, um, you know, I think everybody had a really good time, and we're going to hopefully keep doing that every Derby Day. So excited. All right, one more time for folks that are watching, maybe interested in Donatello. What's the best way to reach out to you guys? Uh, just give us a call. The Adoption Center is at 859-873-5491, and we are taking appointments starting at 10 o'clock daily. So if you want to... Uh, put your name on the list of people who are interested in Donatello. Give us a call. Or 
And we really encourage you to check out our other animals as well. You know, obviously there's only one Donatello, only one family will eventually take him home. Um, but we have dozens of other dogs who really don't want to, you know, hit that four year anniversary. Yeah. So they and, all need homes too. And, and this is probably going to be his 15 minutes of fame, well, definitely. Look at that this is face, a, like the best yeah. good boy ever. <laughs> oh, we're going to find stuff. you a home, Donatello. It's going to happen. That's right. All right, Beth, as always, thanks so much for coming. Thanks by. for having us. All right, we got your headlines coming up next. Thank <laughs> you.